going to no. tell the story. <laughs> they have the lunch. It's time now for us to dig into today's celebrity snack. And we're going to do so with the help of extra senior correspondent and friend to the show, Mona Koza Abdi. Mona, you were just one of a few uh, people to speak with one of Hollywood's leading men last night. Congrats on that. And yes. also, congratulations on this gig. I didn't get to tell you when you first got it, but I've been watching your work for years, and I'm super excited for you. Thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Honestly, I'm glad um, to be a friend of the show, and I'm glad to be with you here today as well. I'm so excited to talk about Ryan Reynolds because yes. it was a blast. Let's do so, sis. Let's yes. get into it. Let's get into it. So he was being honored. No, I, there was not a memo. If there was, I blatantly ignored it. I see someone else is in green of it. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's fall. Everyone's starting to get into fall, maybe. These are on the ground. We are yeah. we're starting to change colors. Um, what an honor. What an honor to receive the Robin Williams Legacy of Laughter Award. I mean, I can't even think of a bigger honor than to be associated, obviously, with Robin Williams. Previous recipients, we just talked to Whoopi Goldberg. Everyone is rooting for you. How do you feel? Uh, I am uh, I am deeply and profoundly honored. I mean, as somebody who's... I've not just watched Robin my whole life, but I've studied him. I mean, he's, a, you know, he's, he's, quite, he's quite literally singular. Uh, so there's nobody else uh, like him before him or after him. There never will be. So uh, I'm incredibly honored and touched to be here. And also just to spend time with uh, Mr. Williams' family like this is incredible. Um, I mean, I was going to ask you if you saw, drew inspiration from Robin, because I could draw parallels from your character in Just Friends to Miss Doubtfire, just like dressing up and bringing that laughter yeah. to everyone, bringing that joy to everyone. But he he was very impactful in your career. Yeah, I I I, I would n I would never compare myself to to, to Robin Williams. Oh, and as much as there was just something blowing through him that uh, blew through no one else. And um, like I said earlier, he was singular. And and, and uh, I I you know his work lives on. But I can't think of a better legacy for Robin Williams then then obviously there's the body of work there's the joy and the laughter they left behind but then there's there's I think the greatest legacy of his is his humanity um, and I think that's why everyone's here today and tonight is to, is to uh, celebrate that humanity you may not see it but I will draw the parallels and right. say that you are <laughs> you it. are leaving your own legacy behind I'll take it I'll take it um, I want to talk about football not sure. Football, but football, uh -huh. okay, because okay. you have been all over. I mean, you helped coordinate with Maximum Effort, the Jake with State Farm thing, to yeah. go meet Donna Kelsey. We yeah. saw you with Taylor at the Chiefs game. Yeah. How much fun were you guys having? It's a lot of fun. I mean, you know, right, the NFL right now is re reaching a kind of fever pitch, you know, that you, usually is only reserved for the Super Bowl. But, you know, here we are at the fourth or fifth game of the year, and it's already happening. So uh, I've, I played football when I was a kid. I loved it. I love watching it. I continue to. I will always watch it. It's a, it's a great sport. But football, in my mind now, is is what we would call soccer over here because I can't say I can't say soccer when I'm in uh, Europe in any way, shape, or form. So. No, they would read you for Phil. Um, last before you leave, I just wanted to say happy early birthday. Thank you. Halloween is also right around the corner. Yeah. Do you got the kids' outfits ready? Are they are we gonna see a little yeah, Barbie? I don't, I don't know why my kids want me to go as Lawrence Welk. I, I don't, and it makes no sense to me. I, I don't I can't track their exposure to Lawrence Welk. I can track it like a minimal amount for me, but not for them. I don't understand. But they want me to go as Lauren Welk, Lawrence Welk. So Sorry, I'm go of course I'll do anything they say. I don't I don't I'm not the boss. <laughs> How fun! And you know, I, I see what you were getting at too with the Robin Williams comparison because I think, like Robin, he's just as strong in the dramatic acting as he is comedy. At least that's what mm -hmm. I see, Mona. Yes. yes, definitely. Like, Just Friends is one of my favorite movies when he dressed up as his previous self, right? He was the overweight friend. And it reminded me a lot of Ms. Doubtfire, going in between yeah. characters uh -huh. and bringing that energy. So I did want to give him his flowers because obviously he's very humble. He <laughs> is. And handsome. I don't know how you were able to really hold handsome. Really handsome. I don't really handsome. Okay. have any friends. I'm just saying. <laughs> For me too. Right. <laughs> and now let's I just, get to I the did latest. The thing. I complimented the suit. Yes, yes. I you did the right it. thing. I love it. Now let's get to the latest developments in divorce between Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner. Yeah. Yeah, so those two have been making headlines, the back and forth, 
her staying at Taylor's crib while oh. they figure out this custody thing. Um, so right now, the latest reporting is that Joe Jonas and Sophie Turner are on the brink of reaching a settlement uh, regarding the custody of their two daughters. So right now, what they have so far, according to the court documents, is that the girls will stay with Sophie at least until the 21st of this month, and she could take them wherever she likes, because they go between the U.S., the U.K., and they go back and forth. So she could do that, and then she'll turn them over to Joe Jonas. Um, and that's going to go on until at least the beginning of next year, uh, until they get something more permanent. And they're going to have to then figure out, obviously, um, an opportunity for the kids to spend Thanksgiving with one parent, Christmas, and just kind yeah. of, you know, things that a lot of parents who are divorced uh, can relate to the custody sharing and the holidays and um, just trying to give everyone a fair opportunity. Yeah, all of the, the parenting issues for sure. Lastly, we only have about 30 seconds. Your favorite yes. interview that you've done so far and one celeb you really want to get in by the end of this year. That's a good one. Oh, my favorite so far. I will say I loved uh, Jerry Hollowell Horner. I'm a huge Spice Ooh. Girls fan. Um, and so she was so full of energy and everything that I expected. Girl power all around. Uh, the one interview that I've literally, anyone who will listen, I've been telling is, actually I'll say two, uh, is Mariah Carey, Mariah Carey, Mariah Carey. And then the second I will say is Victoria Beckham because I am Huge fans of both those women. Oh, so you're looking forward <laughs> for the hopeful reunion tour yes. that we get with the Spice Girls. And yes, Mona, I'm a lamb too. And I will be at the concert December oh, 15th yeah. in Baltimore. Really? Hello. Yes. I because, come. because it's time. <laughs> we will be doing all the runs, okay? Yeah. We belong together. Oh, all the runs. I love it. I love it. So good to have you. Thanks for the latest on all things Hollywood. And we're about manifestation around here. Manifestation. So I'm going to call it. You're going to get both of those interviews. So make sure you come here to talk to us about it when it happened.